I'm back. I've got some figures now. So let's try it again. So I've bring a, a steel of Justice League and a Batman of Batman Forever. Let's see how they can fit into the car. Now this is the real action doll, the first Batman who came out of the movie. You see? The first one. This is almost the same, so normally he must fit in inside of the car. So you see you can put uh, other action figures in it than the originals, but I refer the originals. This one is the first one ever came out, you see. He's got his belt. He's got his uh, joints, you see. But there's no articulation in the arms. So it's only that. Okay. Well, let's try. I'm going to put him back into his place. Can you put Justice League's figures in it? We're going to try it. We're going to see. Are they the same? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, they are almost the same. So let's try to get steel. Oh, he can... F no, yeah. Yeah, he can fit into the car. So you can put action figures of Justice League into the car. Like normal figures. Like the original ones. That beside, um, that's this one. Before we go on, this is the Joker. You see, also G got his bo uh, joints here, and no articulation except this one. Okay, he can keep turn his head. So this figure was of the eighties. You see this button, you can put water in it and then it would shoot out uh, of the flower, like in the movie. So, so um, we're going to the back of the car. The back of the car. Okay, before I forgot, this is uh, the coat that came with the Batman, so they had the coat and the hair. There is a hat inside the car, yeah, of the Joker, you know. So, putting that in the car. You can also put one action figure in the car. You see? You can put a whole action figure in the car, in the trunk. Really cool. Um, I don't have the, the disc anymore. No problem, I think. But let us take a peek. To the back of the car you see the turbines the exhaust the lights really cool eh? it's a really really cool car i mean when you look at the car uh that canner brought out in the in the 90s uh, i mean then the dark nights uh, collection and uh, the car behind it or you can uh, put uh, the the two pieces off and you get the middle piece well, I like this car the best I mean wow I mean it's really really cool car uh, for the people who, who would like to see the other side no problem also you can see the fuel where the fuel goes in and the pieces here like uh, in the original movie so it's really detailed for the time that it came out to I mean Kenner brought their cars behind this car so this is the original mold where Kenner bought uh, their ideas from I don't know if they are even the same size or not so really is a big big car i mean just look at it i don't have to to zoom in much because 
otherwise you can't see it all so really let's oh yeah you want to see the inside of the car let's shift on manual okay sorry for uh... okay so the inside of the car you haven't seen that so let's take the figures out now let's go inside of this car you can see the steer let's try to put night vision on maybe you can see more so that's the steering wheel so with night vision on, on the camera you can see much more of the darkness inside of dark night's car all right let's go in there and take a shot of this uh, stickers they're made and they were put into them uh, on his place in the factory so you don't have to put them on yourself let's go and see something more of the details so you've got speakers you've got a set it's really really is a nice piece to a collection if you want a collection like mine um, I'm saving all the Batmobiles you will see them in time in all my reviews now there will be the bad reviews uh, always will be a Batmobile coming on I've got four or five different Batmobiles at this time already there are coming a lot more uh, next time we will do a Batmobile I think we're going to do the bold and the brave one or the Batman Forever car I don't know yet we're going to see so that's that maybe you want to see a piece of the the trunk so you see how big the car is the trunk is let's put in an action figure goodbye Batman and you see he can fit in it yeah okay so when you put them down like that you see Ooh, are you sleeping so maybe some shots from the from the front all right we'll put the night vision off let's see the turbans again real cool detail man for that time of the year I mean in that time I like the stickers so I'm leaving them on like you see here let's go night vision you see it it, it stops it's not uh, detailed it and that that's a shame uh, that's a shame yeah but this is molded in so that's real cool like the seats oh yeah and the gadget I was telling you about so this is the stick when you let's try to do it again and get a view of it so when you put push this this piece up you see oh, real cool and you've got some uh, real real When you see the car like this, I mean, it just is the Batmobile. I mean, I'm not complaining, there is no rooftop on it because you don't miss the rooftop. I mean, when you see it like this, it don't need the rooftop. It's really cool like it is. I mean, the, the, the Canon one came out uh, the year later in the Bat collection. 
has got a rooftop but I don't like that car I mean okay it's it's you got two machine guns um, but the, I don't know or it's sculpted in or uh, in the wheels it's sculpted or it's just uh, a sticker you have to put on like this is a weapon in the in the in that car you can shoot it out I don't see why you have to shoot it out I mean it's never used in the Batman movie so why would you lose this turbine so you can drive anymore I mm, don't know if there's anything more you would like to see oh beneath beneath the car you can see like screws you can see the extensions real real cool I mean it's great so